Hey everybody, Mark here with Discover Your Home. Thanks again for joining us. It's uh, We get together once a week, uh, usually Wednesdays. And uh, tonight I want to talk to you a little bit about, let's see, barely time to cook. Thank you for joining us tonight. Somebody else joined us, but I can't, couldn't read it. So uh, thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday night. Um, tonight we're going to talk a little bit uh, about tile. We're going to go over some of the, just of the basics, uh, what kind of tile is out there uh, as a do-it-yourselfer, what might be the best tile for you to use, um, what's kind of trending in the marketplace, a uh, little bit of everything, just real the, the basics. So you, if you have questions, you know, reach out, throw them my way, and we'll see if we can get them answered. Okay, so there's several, uh, there's many, I should say several, there's many types of tiles. So let's start off with the basics. We're talking about ceramic, porcelain, natural stones such as marble, granite, um, travertine, uh, uh, slate. Um, let's see, there's glass tiles, there's blend tiles. Uh, blends are usually glass and stone and a combination of several. There's also metal tiles, which we haven't seen a lot of, uh, you know, we see them out there, but we have not really installed any as of yet a, a complete metal tile. So, uh, so those are the kind of some of the things that are out there. Uh, let's first kind of walk through. I'll show you some some samples and stuff of the tiles that we have and what we see. So first tonight we're going to start off with our basic. This is a glazed ceramic tile. Okay, so. A uh, couple things about ceramic tile. Let's see. Let's start off with the real basic. It's very a very cost-effective material. Um, it's basically made of clay, sand, and water. It's put in a kiln and dried. Takes a great percentage of the water out of the material. Um, one downside to to uh, ceramic is it does chip and break a little bit easier. Uh, some of the pluses really with ceramic is where would you put that in good question that's where i'm going to get to uh i would say for tile ceramic i usually find that this is really kind of a a, a budget product not in all cases but so i'm going to recommend this in uh, backsplashes in your kitchen um around fireplace surround around your fireplace any sort of decorative um, you know, if you're doing, you know, doing something maybe around uh, a mirror in the bathroom, you can do shower walls, you can do tub walls. I would not recommend using it in a high traffic area, say a kitchen, because it's a little, it's a little bit, um, it, it, it's not that durable. What color is that? It, boy, if I had to say, yeah, it's, it is a black, it's kind of got a, it can have a little bit of a grayish hue to it, as you can see here. I'll get a little closer there, shine a little bit of that light on there for you. Um, so there's a lot of great places you can use it for. Um, I actually you see a lot of it in um, in you know kind of a starter homes and, and such. So good product, cost effective. Uh, there's a lot you can work with easier to cut much easier as a do-it-yourselfer to work with so we'll get we'll get into that a little bit later probably in another in another show all right so that is ceramic tile so our next one is porcelain tile and this is really i would say a majority of what we're installing uh out in the field today so let me let me grab one of those hey victor home plies i think is it victor oh hey victor okay all right, now this, a little bit larger tile, this is a porcelain tile, okay? You see it, okay? Demi Mosa, thank you for joining us, appreciate it. Um, the difference between a ceramic and a porcelain tile, they're very much the same material, except the clay that's used in a porcelain tile is a little more dense and the and the sand that's also used in a porcelain tile is a little bit finer and and really more dense and then it's heated up to a greater temperature so as with the let me show you the ceramic tile as you can see here 
This has got a glaze on the front. You notice it's kind of got an orange kind of a orange kind of a clay tile look to the back of it. The thing about ceramic tile, it's not colored through all the way through from top to bottom. If I split this porcelain tile, it's the same color all the way through. So if you do drop something on it, it's a lot less noticeable. But porcelain is quite a bit more durable than ceramic. So where am I using porcelain tile? Just about everywhere. You can use it interior, you can use it on the exterior of your home, shower walls, uh, surrounds, everywhere. You, I, we, in fact, we did a countertop last year for a customer. We used really large, uh, I think they were like 18 by 36 inch uh, tile, which is really large. That is a huge piece. No, it wasn't a kitchen. You could use it on a kitchen floor, but we actually used it. Um, we actually used it on a kitchen countertop. In fact, my tile guy saw was barely big enough because we cut a couple pieces on forty on a forty-five degree angle, and we we could barely fit it in uh, the tile saw to do it. So uh, they're much more versatile. Let's see who we have here. I uh, see. I cannot read that, but here from Chicago. Hey, there you go. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Um, really, it, we find that we're using it everywhere. And the nice thing about porcelain is you got a lot of different colors, you got a lot of different looks, and you're starting to see a lot more textures with it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to a couple, you know, talking about uh, natural stone surfaces. But this is probably I would say probably about ninety percent of what we're installing is porcelain tile. And I'll talk a little bit later about. Uh, where we're using it and how often and all a bunch of other good stuff. Okay, so let me set this thing down. I'm going to show you a little sample here that is a type of marble. This is a small sample I have. There you go. Nice little pattern. Um, this is marble. Okay, what color was the last one? It's kind of a soft gray. I don't have the number. Let me check. No, I don't have a name on it, but it was a very soft gray. Kind of has a light grain that runs through the body of it. You see a lot of that in porcelain tile today, where it's almost starting to look more like wood. And there's there's a lot more that's out there that's available that does look a lot like wood. Okay, so get back to this here. This is our uh, natural stone. This is just one. This is a marble. Uh, let me see here. It is called... Uh, la, 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 it's a fancy weave. Asian statuary polished. This is a beautiful, this looks wonderful, um, say, as an accent uh, within, say, a backsplash underneath a, um, a vent hood. Uh, looks wonderful. A little, maybe use a little bit darker grout in here. But this is basically kind of a marble. Um, natural stones are really more for natural settings. I find that... Um, if you're more kind of like an earthy, you want an earthy feel to your home, your bathroom, your kitchens, your entryway, slate, uh, travertine, it's got a more natural look to it, which which I, I personally like. I think the you know the more natural look for me. It looks it looks hard to install. Is it a puzzle piece? Um, it comes on a sheet. This is uh, let's see. It's a sheet size, 11 by 11 roughly. Yeah, it when the sheets go in, it's fantastic, but then you find in the end, in fact, we just did one this week, very similar to this one, you got a puzzle piece that's in. So yeah, this is a little harder to work with. I'm gonna show you the, uh, the blend of the uh, stone glass mosaic here in a little bit, which is a little bit easier to install. But yeah, this, is, this requires um, patience, a lot of patience, so. So the beauty in uh, natural stones is they, they are versatile. You can use them indoor and outdoor. Um, it really gets back to personal taste. I, uh, I just looked at a house that uh, had uh, we had to go in and do a repair for a, a customer who had uh, all slate from floor all the way up to the, the ceiling in the shower. Uh, beautiful. I love that look. It's a very natural, very earthy uh, with slate, you get you can get some some dark greens, some kind of rust colors, some tans. There's a lot to work with with there. Travertine's a little more kind of a softer gold, tan gold kind of look to it. Marble is beautiful. 
Uh, but Marble can, the downside with Marble that I find is, especially in the Chicagoland area, if you live, um, say, if you're, you're on a well water, um, the water, uh, if you live in a well, have a well in your home, um, it's a little bit harder. So you, there's a lot, of more, a lot more iron that's in the water, so you get a lot of rust stains. Um, the one thing about natural stone materials are they're a little bit softer, they're a little bit more porous, so they will, if not sealed and not taken care of, will stains can form rather quickly. Uh, we've done that with, we see that with like a Carrera marble in a lot of cases where uh, you have a lot of water and you get some some metal in, in the water, you can find that it's rusting on you. So it's it happens. Um, so that really gets back to personal taste. So let me go to my last tile here, which is really what we call the kind of a blend. This is a glass stone mosaic. This is one we've actually, that was installed as a backsplash in our kitchen. And this is, it's very earthy. Um, what you got here is you've got glass, you got a little, you know, stainless steel, and you've got some slate here really natural colors okay you can install it either way this is an easier tile to install okay it kind of finger joints together here much easier to install because it is on a fiberglass mesh okay uh, and then it, when you get to your ends you'll have to kind of piece it in but that's a lot easier than trying to piece in this guy so there there is a little bit different um what's what's going on in the marketplace i would say what we're seeing are the sheets made to piece in yes yes they are um they they generally fit pretty good um you're going to find spots where you're going to have to piece in a little bit so uh so trend wise what we're seeing out there Porcelain really is the big driver as far as product goes. Um, I would say when it does when it does come to porcelain or even just tiles, larger really seems to be, especially on floors and in shower walls. We're 12 to 24, kind of a brick style pattern. Uh, we're seeing a lot of that. We're also seeing a lot of the six by 36, and actually they're starting to come up with a little bit larger tile. It's more wood planking. It looks like wood planking, so. Uh, that's a real big trend. We've seen that really kind of go, and that's kind of nice because that really, you can do a whole wall on that instead of putting up, say, um, uh, like old barnwood or whatever. There, I've seen some really great looks out there uh, that will look fabulous in your, say, in a family room just to give a nice accent wall. Uh, and the glass blends, the, the, mosa the, the stone glass mosaics, uh, great for backsplashes, great for accents. Uh, it's nice because it's all kind of pieced together. You put it up in sheets. You you kind of fill in the small spots at the you know at the end of once you're putting in you know get done putting in your backsplash and everything. Uh, and then it really is it really gets back to what you want in your house. So this is just kind of a primer on what's out there. I know there's going to be some questions down the road. If you have questions, reach out to us. I want to thank you guys again for joining us here at Discover Your Home. Thanks, good scope. Barely time to cook. Oh, well, thank you. Barely time to cook. I appreciate that. And everybody, have yourself a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week.